Okay, just want to give a quick tutorial on how to use the Raven 2 Lite uh, software. I'm going to share the doc here, share the screen file right now for Raven 2 Lite. This is what you'll see uh, when you load it up. Let's go up here, click this icon to select a um, microphone. We'll just use this microphone right here. Uh, Hertz, I'm going to make that go a little bit faster. Okay, I don't like this waveform. You can play with it if you want to. We are going from zero to about 28 kilohertz. That's way too high for what we're gonna be dealing with. Let's shift that up so that we're going up to about zero to two kilohertz. The trigger is down here. Uh, I'm going to start a waveform. <clears throat> start a waveform now, which I just got from online tone generator, and I'm going to play 440 hertz, which is A. So I'm going to start playing that, and then I'm going to trigger this. Okay, there's the sound that I'm, that's being generated. I'm going to shift it to a square wave. Stop. Stop the trigger. Okay, now I don't like all of those colors. They like it, so I'm gonna change it to monochromatic right there. And uh, let's play with these. Okay, so we wanted 400 hertz. If you look down at the bottom of the screen, all the way down here, I'm going to put this cursor on there, and it's reading 430 hertz. Let's expand that up. And okay, it is reading what about 437 hertz, and. This one is at about uh, 1316 hertz. Uh, that's interesting. I'm expecting one in there. I'm not seeing it. That's probably because of the, the I had a square wave on there. Let, let me get up a, a sawtooth wave and re-record it with that. So I'm going to trigger it there again. I'm going to do a sawtooth wave. Okay, now we're seeing it. Let's see, look down on the lower left-hand corner about here, you'll see the frequency coming up. Let's see, there's about 400 and, well, it's about 400, it's, uh, there we go, 433, um, 872. You can see the harmonics there. There's the fundamental frequency, second overtone, third overtone, fourth overtone, fifth overtone, um, let's lower the frequency and see how low this can pick it up. So I'm going to put in 110 hertz. Same thing, we're going to put a sawtooth wave at 110 hertz. Let's, uh, let's see, 110 hertz. Okay. So let's take a look at this and we can expand this up and expand this up. Okay, there is my 110, um, about 220. This should be about 330. Again, look down here, 330, 440. Okay, you're seeing the fundamental frequency um, Second overtone, third, fourth, fifth, et cetera. Okay, I'm gonna drop it even lower to 55 hertz. And you hear a really low sound.
Okay, notice it didn't pick up the 55. There is uh, 110. There is, uh, let's see, 55 times three is gonna be 165 right there, etc. We didn't pick up a 55. So this, this will pick up 110, but not uh, 55. Uh, I don't know whether that's in my speaker or in my uh, microphone, I don't know, but we're, we're missing the fundamental frequency. And that's what I want you to check out. Does your, how low does the mic in your uh, computer work? And if you can't pick it up here, you probably can't pick it up for um, the, the, the music in, musical instrument that you're gonna, um, you're gonna design. So that's, that's all that I have to show you here. Just wanted to show you how it wasn't picking up low frequencies. We'll see you then, over and out.